It is 10.39 on uh, Tuesday, September 3rd. Uh, I have class in 21 minutes. Plenty of time to get over there and park and sit through like four red lights here. This is why it takes me a half an hour to 40 minutes to drive to Kent. Well, to drive to Kent State. It's 10, 15 minutes to downtown Kent, which is directly behind me. From here to campus is another 15 to 20 minutes. It's pretty ridiculous. This individual does not know that if you pull all the way up, the gate will open. There's a sensor under the pavement. You can even see where it's been cut out and then patched. And if you pull up to the gate, the gate opens. You don't sit back there like a jackass. Oh, oh, are they gonna figure it out? She keeps inching up. I don't get these people, so now you're pissing off the, the fur DB9 behind you. Come on by, you are almost there. A few more feet, a few more feet and you'll be getting out of here. There you go, look at that, it's magic how that works now, isn't it? There it is again, the E36 M3. I'm gonna have to leave a card on his or her windshield. Today was supposed to be 72 and mostly sunny, partly cloudy. This is as sunny as it's gotten all day and it is 64 degrees. I'm on my way to Sohar's using this instead of the actual GPS just because it's easier uh, for Siri and stuff. Um, need mower parts to make my mower work. I put it in a bag because it's really greasy. It's a, uh, it's a brake. It's actually a brake shoe that makes the left side of my mower stop. So, I need that, and I'm really hoping that I can order one, because I pulled it off, I actually, actually jacked the mower up the other night, put it on jack stands, who does that with a mower? Pull the wheel off, the belt drive assembly stuff off, 800 feet, where, where am I turning? I think this might be it. Come on iPhone, give me some directions, 300 feet, Hines Hill Road, that's, yeah, this is Hines Hill. Well, oh, the phone goes down. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's the brake shoe that stops the left wheel. Um, I looked, I found, found the part, found the part number online, googled the part number, and everywhere where I find the part number, it says discontinued, obsolete, or out of production. So I'm really hoping that this place has a, uh, a third party source or something they can go to and obtain the part, and if not, we're going to have to fabricate one or make this one work somehow. Um, so my mower's out of commission until I get this fixed, which I need to be soon because my yard needs to be mowed now. So this kind of sucks, but I guess we'll deal with it. Let me just say, since I got the car back, holy crap is it tight. It is silent, there's no creaks, no noises in the steering. It is tight as can be, it's a little heavier. It's just so precise and the steering's really smooth and heavier now and I love it. Feels like a new car. Why does it say road closed? This is making me nervous. I don't think the road is closed. There was a train, it was temporarily closed. Oh, God. There was a sign a mile back that said road closed at tracks in one mile. Well, I just went through the tracks and the road is not closed. Okay, so I've been standing inside Sohar's for an hour. The first 25 minutes I spent standing in line waiting for the three customers or the three employees to help like the 48 customers in front of me. They get up to me before I even say hi or anything. The guy's like, you got a dinosaur button or bobcat you're working on. I mean, the, the mower is a 1991. It is two years older than I am. I mean, it's an old ass mower. Uh, so he went through about 40 phone book sized parts manuals, um, checked the shop there, resorted to Google, resorted to eBay. The part doesn't exist. There's no replacing it. So he kind of told me, take it two doors down, there's a welding shop. So I took it two doors down, dropped it off. They're going to have it done by tomorrow. They're going to TIG weld it. 
So friggin' rights, we're just making parts here, fabricating stuff to work. I love it. It'll probably be relatively inexpensive in comparison to replacing a bunch of parts. So whatever, we're gonna weld what we have and put it back on there. And it's gonna need a lot of adjusting because I totally jacked it up in the process of trying to fix it the other day. But it should work. We'll find out tomorrow. Time warp, now we're ahead. It's like 1.30 in the morning. Uh, sorry, I came home, I did YouTube for probably seven hours today. I got my watch later playlist from 46 to 20. So that's good progress. I need to be, I should have been in bed an hour ago, but that didn't work, which sucks because I'm gonna be tired as hell tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up fairly quickly and go straight to bed. Uh, ordered, or I dropped that thing off at the mower place, they're gonna weld it for me. Uh, here's what I'm dealing with. I took the cover off here so we can see these pulleys. The brake is located over here. It's like a drum thing that goes around. See that shiny part down there? That's like the drum surface and then the pad obviously goes around that and then when you pull this handle this just makes contact so the mower stays on. You know if you fall off or something and let go of it it shuts off. So you hold that down all the time. That's your brake. The brake does two things. See how it removes that tensioner pulley there away to take tension off the belts so the belt drive stops turning the wheel. And then it's also supposed to pull the brake and stop the wheel. So it takes away the power and applies the brakes to stop the wheel so you can turn and slow down. Well, I have one of the belts taken off. There's two. And the other one's in the car. I'm going to take it over tomorrow when I pick up the hopefully fixed brake shoe and see if I can buy four of them, two for each side, and tighten that up. I got the other side really tight now. When I pull the brake over here, it's a short pull, only a few inches before it was like your whole range of motion in your hand. So it does the two things. It locks the wheel up completely. I can slide the wheel in here on the garage floor, and then it moves that tensioner pulley there away from the belts to remove tension. So that should be really tight. Now, it's going to be even better if I replace those those belts. So hopefully we'll have this back in service tomorrow. My yard needs to be cut pretty badly and uh, we'll aim to get that done. Tomorrow's going to be busy because I got the longer classes. I have to go pick up those parts and then work on the yard. So that'll be tomorrow. Sorry for uh, another shorter one today, I think. But tomorrow will be productive. Oh, I ordered a crap ton of stuff for the car today, too. I'll tell you later. All right. Good night.